Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today I have an Eco 5000 dB inverter. This is a rebadged Jinlong inverter, and it's coming up with the alarm light on here. And if we come and have a look at the screen here, we'll see what it's actually saying. It's saying status relay dash pro. Now, it did say that. There we go, relay dash pro. Now, if it's coming up with an alarm light on like that and the operation light isn't on, then the system is not working. And if it's coming up with a Relo Dash Pro message like that, then the inverter is detected an issue of a relay uh, inside the inverter, which is which is not working as it should be, and it's thrown this fault code. Now, what you can try and do if uh, if you are having an issue like this is try a reboot of the system and see if that helps rectify the issue. The inverter usually will try and, and reboot itself if it is having a Relay Dash Pro error message like that. But you can try it as well just to, just to see if that does help. And if you're shutting down an inverter like this, it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure, which would be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. The solar supply main switch or inverter supply main switch would be in your switchboard. You may have an inverter AC isolator like this one here. We throw that off, or the one in your switchboard. And then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. In this case, it's over here, so I'm just gonna throw that one off. And we just wait for this, the inverter to go blank, like it just has, and then we reboot the inverter. And the reboot process is nowhere near as important as a shutdown process. We just need to turn everything back on. So I'm going to throw the DC first and then the AC on. And the inverter will now go through a startup procedure and we'll just see if it comes up with that error again or if it's cleared and starts working. So at the moment the uh, inverter is just coming up with an initializing message. It's just starting up which usually takes a couple of minutes. So we'll just uh, fast forward this little section. Okay, the inverter's just, uh, you can hear it clicking. The relays have just been tested and it's come up again with the orange alarm light and the status relay dash pro message. So in this case, it hasn't rectified the issue, rebooting the system. So this is an internal fault of the inverter. If it's still under warranty, which would have been a five year warranty five to eight year warranty, I believe, with the manufacturer, then you should be able to get in touch with the uh, your, with your original installers and get it repaired under warranty. You will probably need some details of the inverter, which can be found on the data plate on the side of the inverter, like the serial number and the size of the inverter and stuff like that. And they should be able to help you further. If it is outside the warranty period and you do need assistance, uh, you will need to get in touch with a local solo accredited electrician who can assist you further. If you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, Gold Coast Solar Power Solution will certainly help. If you're somewhere else around the world, I recommend getting in touch with a local solar accredited installer. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope it's been helpful for you.